So Kittle has definitely made some changes when it comes down to their AI tool. And now we have the option to add Ideogram version 2A to our Kittle prompt, and it really generates some really high quality images. Today, we're gonna utilize some prompts with our design today. And I'm gonna share with you what you would typically get from the Dali 3 design and what new changes having Ideogram plugged into Kittle will result for us with our AI designs. And what are some possibilities we have to use this to start and scale our Etsy business. I want to share this all with you coming up next. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into Kittle and let's see this new version of Ideogram truly being applied. And let's look at the Dolly 3 image generator that was already there. And let's compare the same prompt being used with Ideogram and see what we get as a result. All right, so here we are in Kittle and we're gonna create some things for a Tumblr wrap today. And we're gonna look at a couple of things again with the new version of Ideogram version 2A. And as we can see, they added a couple of things in here, even with Flux 1.1 and we have the original Dali E3 here. Now I like to focus on Ideogram because when we are creating our designs, we definitely want to incorporate more text-based design to our products. Dali 3 just truly struggles with text and Ideogram does a pretty good job as well as with these crew creative art styles Kittle is providing to us that allows this design to really to go way beyond what we see on Ideogram and really makes it easy for the user to find great things to add to their design. So that being said, let's go ahead and plug in some things in regards to a prompt. Let's do some compare and contrast, see what we get as a result. So here's the first prompt that we're going to use for our design today. And we're really going to look at the text here. This is a chicken style the design that is bringing in this theme of coffee and chicken and chaos, which is a popular phrase on Etsy right now for these designs and again specifically i'm not really concerned about the design itself but really to see if we can get this text out from dali 3 and what we would get when we are creating this for ideogram now i make sure to leave all of the prompts down in my description box below for you to get access to exactly what i'm working with here so with that being said let's go ahead and check this out utilizing ideogram version 3 here and again specifically we want to look at the text to see what we get as a result so i have everything down in place we're using dali e3 we're going to go ahead and use the clip art here which is pretty standard if you have been you know using Kittle for a while and let's see what we get as a result all right so this is what we have as a result and I want you to look at a couple of things here especially with the spelling right we know that the Dali E3 is very you know challenged when it comes down to text now this is a very vibrant design pretty standard here for Kittle especially if you're not utilizing anything with text included but the challenge today is truly with text to see what can this do compared to ideogram and so we can see that is really struggling when it comes down to the word coffee and what I found is that when you're using Dali E3 with Kittle and you have the same letter next to each other that struggles a lot and we can even see the word chaos is spelled all different type of ways and you would have to generate this a couple times just to even get something decent and so this is what we get of course we can probably run this a couple times to get maybe a better uh result but again we want to see what ideogram does with this same prompt now i'm sure it's probably not going to be a super vibrant design but specifically what we're looking at today is how well does it do with text and what are some new art styles we can add with Kittle? So with this being said, we're gonna keep the same prompt here, utilizing that same type of chicken art style design, utilizing the watercolor this time with Ideogram, but we're definitely going to see what is it gonna do with this phrase chicken, coffee, and chaos. So I wanna head up to the top here, change this to Ideogram. I wanna scroll all the way down to the bottom and notice how we have a whole new set of art styles to choose either we're doing things with t-shirts which is vector we have some things to choose for our style with clip art here and then we get into even some font changes in regards to these type of designs here so what i like to focus on is bringing in that same type of watercolor art style that we know to do well on etsy and see what we get with ideogram option here so this is what we have as a result definitely bring in a different art style here but what I am looking at specifically is the text to see if it was able to generate the text with the proper words, obviously the proper spelling. And we do have that in place here. Again, we could change the prompt a little bit to add more colors that we see here. But again, one of the things we definitely want to see is how well has this done with text and what are some options we can create in regards to the extra filters that they have. And I think this came out extremely well. I think this could sell extremely well on Etsy for a Tumblr wrap, even, you know, utilize this for a digital 
product here for an invitation but i think in regards to text i think is a great thing to have and all this came just by adding in a different version of the kiddo ai tool edogram and getting this as a result now one thing we definitely want to try out here is to see what we get when we do incorporate these different art styles here and more specifically with changing the text to include some of these popular styles here with the groovy style the playful style and the heart style here so i'm not going to change anything i'm going to keep everything as it is with the prompt but let's see what we get as a result when we add in these new features here all right so this is what we have as a result and i think that came out fantastic i can add this to another artboard so we can see it a little easier here and this is really a top trending design we know with the retro type of font style or with the groovy type style here and again it still brought in that chicken type of niche brought in some unique colors here and this is probably a very highly competitive design that can sell well on etsy and again more specifically it brought in the text properly right chickens coffee and chaos and adding all those different type of character changes here that really allowed us to stand out well and i think this is a great design to create and when you think about this design here again it's brought in a lot of colors but the spelling is really off this one here definitely got the spelling right but you may say that the colors are not as intriguing as this one here but i think this is a great blend between adding in unique art style and definitely adding in some unique text features that could do extremely well now here's a little side note let's just say we do get some amazing designs but we do have some fonts here or some words that's not necessarily what we need for our overall design killer is great to use also because if i use the letter e it's going to bring up their erase tool where i can erase this but just not remove this from the entire image i can click erase and fill and this will fill in the image with the highlighted areas being removed so if our background was blue it won't remove the blue background but it'll definitely remove the words here to make this product just clean to use for our design and we can see we still have a little bit here on the edge we're going to go ahead and remove that as well and as you can see that's very easy to remove any maybe text that you don't want on your design that maybe came up as a result but as we can see that came out extremely well and when it's compared with this i think this is a better product because obviously the text is right on in regards to the spelling and so let's see one more time here what we can get with another type of text feature this time we're going to utilize the ideogram again but utilize a different type of font style here and we're going to use this playful style and let's see what we get here as a result and as you can see this came out extremely well again took upon that theme that we had here definitely bringing in some very popular text features with this playful style but this could easily be something we sell on etsy as a tumblr wrap and this could be something we could create multiple products for just not you know with chickens but we can change the focus of a dog we can focus on a horse and really create multiple products just like this the main reason why we would use this if we're creating a design that has a lot of text in play has a popular phrase that we want to get right it's going to be a struggle if utilizing the dali 3 because it has great design but not good text however you can now compete with those top selling products on etsy by bringing in a lot of text features which if you've been selling on etsy for a while you know text is an easy sell and an easy win for your products now kittle does have one more feature that i think is extremely helpful when we're looking at the different clip art styles there are different font styles here and it is this heart shape that we know has done well over the course of many products on Etsy, t-shirts, sweatshirts, tumbler wraps. And this is a huge opportunity to take a popular design like this here, this chicken type of design we know is selling well on Etsy and merge this same prompt over to yet again, another type of version with this prompt here. So when I click this, we can hit generate. Again, we haven't changed anything with the prompt. We're still on ideogram here. And let's see what we get as a result. And this is what we have as a result. And as you can see, that came out amazing right utilizing ideogram to get the proper phrases in place the proper spelling in place then we're utilizing kittle to bring out these unique art styles and these unique type of font styles to add to our prompt can really help you scale your business well on etsy and this is again a popular design that we know things in a heart shape obviously popular phrases is going to do well here and this is yet again a easy product you can sell on a t-shirt on a coffee mug on a tumblr wrap and you can create multiples of these just simply by going into Kittle using ideogram and then going to this type of font choice with the heart shape 
it brought in text it brought in the elements it brought in the whole design theme here and again you're talking about creating five different variations of designs with simply one prompt creating multiple products you know to sell well so do i think killer was a great place for you to create ai designs absolutely yes right we only went over a couple here we didn't go over into vectors or all the clip art styles here but just seeing the option to have ideogram in place and then having all these different pre-made art styles already here to make our prompts stand out even more with design i think this truly is a game changer if you are trying to sell products online with etsy all right so we're going to jump in kiddo ai one more time here and we're going to focus on an outdoors theme we're going to bring up what we get with dolly 3 and then we're going to utilize ideogram version here with the watercolor we're going to add in the groovy font we're going to add in the playful font and the heart font and see what we get as a result so let's start off with the dolly e3 version here and specifically again this bringing in popular phrases where it says here get out and explore so first things first let's start off with dolly e3 utilizing the watercolor as a result this is what we got here definitely bringing in that tri-fold style here with kittle which i think is very good if you are trying to include this to your design but definitely got the text right a very popular phrase get out and explore all things are good there so here's what we got for the ideogram and we're just simply using clip art and again the text came out well get out and explore definitely brought in some unique features so here's another option we have with the groovy text here that came out extremely well Again, definitely take it in that pop of phrase, get out and explore. But I think it definitely brought in that unique text feature, definitely at the bottom here to make our product stand out with the text. And I think this is, again, a good product to sell for a tumbler wrap, for a coffee mug. All right, here are the last two options here we gathered from the last two choices, which we utilize the heart feature here, which we can see that as a result. And we utilize the playful text here, which I think the playful text is probably going to be a popular one I use definitely for, again, Tumblr wraps and t-shirt design, just because that font is definitely popular, kind of bringing in that script font we know to work well. But this makes things really, really easy. When we're trying to bring in high quality designs and definitely bring in some font choices and even have the text be correct with AI but you can have a lot more popular phrases utilizing ideogram and definitely bring out some of these features and again this is just going to get better and better as time go on we're going to find new ways to use it new things to incorporate here but i'm definitely sharing this video with you so you can see the options in regards to what we can create what we can sell on etsy and definitely make it easier for us to sell top selling designs on our etsy shop and here are just some examples of utilizing this on a tumblr wrap you can see these came out extremely well and again, easy to make, putting in a simple prompt here, getting some great results here. We can start selling this right now on Etsy for us to start making sales. But as you can see, text came out great. The design came out well, and definitely something to consider if you are thinking about creating these type of products for your Etsy business. So as you can see, using Kiddo and Ideogram together, along with all the presets we have used, can really help you speed up your design process and really create amazing designs. However, if you are struggling getting sales on Etsy, I want to share with you my step-by-step -step super simple guide to Etsy sales. This is filled with over 20 pages of actual strategies I am doing right now that have helped my shop gain consistent sales online with Etsy. And I give you four exclusive videos to share with you over the shoulder what you need to do right now to set your shop up for sales. This is the exact strategy my students have used and they are gaining sales as well. And I want to share this with you. If you want to get access to this guide simply put in the comment section below the word sales and i'll be happy to send this over to you today and check out this next video here where i share with you how to create your etsy titles and tags to actually get traffic to your listing if you want to check out that video click it here and subscribe to my channel to learn more about how to make income online with etsy as always my friends my name is jay and i will see you in the next video